Hi everybody, 314 Reactor here. Now you've just got the brand new Raspberry Pi 4, you've got the new heatsink on it, you've got the new lovely Pibo rainbow case from Pi Moroni on it, and you're running some image recognition gear on it, some games on it, and you're realising that in the summer heat it's getting pretty toasty. So, what's the best way to cool it down? A fan? No, that's not going to be enough. Not this time. As you remember last year, I used oil cooling to cool down a pie using some cooking oil of all things and it cooled the pie down quite a considerable amount. But this year, with a new pie and a reasonably hot summer, we have to go extreme. Put it in the freezer? Now, obviously I'm about to put a raspberry pie in a freezer so don't do this at home because you could damage your pie, you could thaw things out in your freezer, all sorts of things, so don't do this at home. <laughs> It's, it's, it's just a joke experiment. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm running GLX Gears, as well as four instances of a program that's calculating Pi to 50,000 digits. And that's just to get every core on the Pi CPU working out, as well as the GPU, to make sure it gets as toasty as possible. So the idle temperature, I measured around 55, 56 degrees. And with that running for a few minutes, it's now up to 79 degrees. And we're going to leave that running for about 20 more minutes and then we'll write down what the temperature is for that and then we'll get it chucked in the freezer and then do the same test again. So it's been running for about half an hour now and how hot is it? Will? <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Alrighty, so I'm just taking the pie into the kitchen at the moment. And the freezer where it's going to go. Our equipment down here and then what we'll do is we'll open up the freezer in here we've got some peas in there frozen peas the classic so there's quite a lot of ice in there as you can see okay so as you can see we've got the power plug in there we've got the little extension to the USB-C cable plug that in and then what we'll do is we'll take this and put it in here like so in the freezer and then we'll close the door Oh, the wire just fell down, that's okay. Right, that's time to turn on the power. Now back to the lab. Okay, so we're in. Uh, let's do a test of the idle temperature. So that's at 39 degrees, which is about 16 degrees lower than it was on air. Okay, so that's running fine. Four windows. Get one of those running, get that going, just copy that, and that, GLX gears, we'll maximise it, so yep, that's all maxed out, we're all good, and then back to the temperature, and we're at 43 degrees, so we'll leave that there for about half an hour, and we'll see what the temperature is, and hopefully the pie doesn't die. You must go to the digger bar system, Luke. All right, so it's been running for about half an hour now in the freezer and it's still averaging around 51 degrees. So let's get it out of the freezer. Okay. So on idle, on air, it was 55 degrees. Under the benchmark on air, it went up to 83 degrees. In the freezer, it was 39 degrees on idle, and under the benchmarks, after around half an hour again, it was only up to 52 degrees. So that's around 30 degrees dropped. So, can you put a Raspberry Pi 4 in a freezer? Yeah. Is it a good idea? Probably not. If I'd left it in there any longer, ice could have melted on it, it could have shorted out, who knows, it's not a good idea. Don't do it at home. I mean, compared to last year, my oil cooled pie, that dropped about 22 degrees off of the benchmark. So, and even that wasn't the most practical of <laughs> ways to cool your pie. So this is even less practical and very much diminishing returns. So this was just a joke experiment. Don't try it at home. Okay, so if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and check out the links in the description below for my oil cooled pie that I did last year, blog, my hackster page, my electromaker pages where I upload projects. Check out my Twitter down there as well. Give me a follow if you want. There's always new experiments and projects I'm doing, so give that check out, and I'll see you in the next one.